All right, so here we go. The serpent is the dragon. The dragon is Satan, AKA the devil. If you worship the Prince of Darkness, how perfect to do it right in front of everybody, right under their nose. To destroy all of God's angels, I will rise above the stars of hell. That's the plan destroy God's angels. They get us in a host fighting system. And that host body system is attached to the pit through a demon. So as soon as the angel comes into the host body, he's got a body, but he's attached to the pit through a demon through one of your eyes. That's called the all seeing eye. And that attachment to the pit is what keeps the record against you and that record is used to destroy you. The fix is to turn back to Christ and get inverted. The word converted means turn quite around. You turn back to Christ, you turn away from your flesh, and get converted, and the two become one. God bless you guys and welcome to This Is It. <laughs> okay, I don't even know where to begin. Do y'all understand the mystery solved? Do y'all understand the riddle of ages is resolved? I, I don't know if everybody knows the depth of what's been shown to you just over the past couple of weeks, past maybe since the channel started up again. The Lord has let me give to you a model so you can see your condition. Anyone can. The crosses at Calvary where Jesus was crucified in the middle between Justmas and Desmas represents your condition, my condition, all of our condition. We are a kingdom divided. There is a good you and there is a bad you. And what's sitting in the midst of you is Lucifer. He sits in the throne of Elohim, just like the Bible says, thou sittest in the seat of Elohim. Thou art not El. So Jesus is Emmanuel. With us is El, the Almighty God. So when you accept the, the work of the cross, what Jesus did on the cross in between the good you and the bad you. So when you swap out the middle position with Jesus instead of Lucifer sitting, that's called the resurrection is called the standing up again. So Christ in you has arisen within you. He's arisen within you, and he's taken over both sides of the cross of Calvary. Both sides he owns now. He owns the good you and the bad you. And um, you've been purchased with his blood. It's the most perfect model for understanding this. Now that I've spoken it out loud to you once, let's watch the um, let's watch the intro one more time that, that Zach and I, we're going to be making new intros all the time, maybe every two to three videos, maybe three to four videos, I don't know. But we're going to be making new intros because the intros themselves are going to stand alone. You could take one introduction to a video and you could go use that with one of the folders and you have everything you need. Anyway, so let me show you something. The Bible says, Thy nakedness shall be uncovered, yea, thy shame shall be seen. The word shame is pudenda. And so... Uh, for those of y'all that know your vocabulary, pudenda vagina, 
Thy shame shall be seen. I will take vengeance, and I will not meet thee as a man. Um, so, thy nakedness shall be uncovered. And that's the Lord speaking through the prophet Isaiah about the female entity that is taken over. That's the woman that rides the beast. The woman that rides the beast. The female entity that's taken over the whole system. And... Um, and he says, She's, you have counted on your wickedness, your wickedness, and said, no one sees me. That's where Jonathan Clegg came in. That's where the Lord injected me. And even the night I got saved bears witness to this. Okay, now watch this. Now that you know this, thy nakedness shall be uncovered. Take the millstones and grind the mill. Uncover thy locks, not hair, thy locks, like for locking you in. Bear the leg, uncover the thigh, pass over the rivers. Thy nakedness shall be uncovered. Yea, thy shame shall be seen. I will take vengeance, and I will not meet thee as a man. So now I want you to, let's watch this intro one more time. I want you to pay very close attention, because literally the mystery of the whole thing is, is solved in this one intro. So let's watch it one more time. The serpent is the dragon. The dragon is Satan, a.k.a. the devil. So if you worship the Prince of Darkness, how perfect to do it right in front of everybody, right under their nose. destroy all of God's angels. I will rise above the stars of hell. That's the plan. Destroy God's angels. That's how, right there. That's how. That's how. That's how. They get us in a host body system, and that host body system is attached to the pit through a demon. So as soon as the angel comes into the host body, he's got a body, but he's attached to the pit through a demon through one of your eyes. That's called the all-seeing eye. And that attachment to the pit is what keeps the record against you. And that record is used to destroy you. The fix is to turn back to Christ and get inverted. The word converted means turn quite around. You turn back to Christ. You turn away from your flesh and get converted. And the two become one. I'll discover thy locks. Uncover thy locks. So there it is. There is the representation of Christ in the middle, paying for both halves of the equation. And before you get converted, you have a superhuman angel demon, which is exactly what the Bible says in Ephesians. I'll let you look at that image while I pull up Ephesians 2. So he himself is our peace. So there's the Prince of Peace right there in the middle. He himself is our peace, who's broken down the middle wall of partition. His, his purpose was to make one new man from the two, thus making peace, because you are a superhuman angel demon. That is your condition. And Jesus, when he takes up the midst of you, because who's sitting in the midst of you before you get saved? Well, shows you right in Ezekiel 28. So please recognize the perfection of the word of God here. Thus saith the Lord God, the self-existent eternal Jehovah, because thine heart is lifted up, and thou hast said, I am El, the Almighty God. I sit in the seat of Elohim, in the midst of the seas, yet thou art a man, and not El. Though thine set thine heart as the heart of Elohim, 
So when, when we simply read the word God with the correct word for God, the mystery becomes very, very easy. And now the Lord gave me the ability to see past the illusion. That's my gift that he gave to me and through me to you. That's why my name means Yahweh is given. Because um, he's giving through me to you. Now, he's going to show you right here that this is correct. The Lord's going to show you right now. Because thine heart is lifted up, and thou hast said, I am El, the Almighty God, I sit in the seat of Elohim. So the word sit is so important. I'm going to enlarge it. It says to sit down specifically as a judge in ambush, in quiet, make to inhabit, lurking. So I sit as a judge in ambush, in the seat, the population, the assembly of Elohim. So that's... We're the Elohim. That's why the Bible says in Psalm 82, have I not said, or I say ye are Elohim. All of you are children of the Most High. So see, Psalm 82 with this shuts the door on anything. It also shuts the door with Genesis 1 as well. So now we are the Elohim. Who sits in the midst of us? What does the Bible say right here? Who sits in the midst of us? I sit in the seat of Elohim. So as we're talking about Lucifer here. And he's, he's saying he's El, but he's not El. He is in the midst of Elohim, though, the population. So now, this is, represents you right here. You have an angel and a demon inside of you. And the one that's sitting in, this, in the center part right here is Lucifer. So we have this giant altar that's hidden in, hidden in plain sight. The whole thing's a dead sheep, but it's all God's angels that got carried away captive. And there is the seat right there, the seat of Elohim, because those are angels. And the Elohim are angels. So they put the seat there because the one that sits in the seat right there is Lucifer. And here's a perfect example of that. What happened to us? We're the sheep that in the equation, we are the dead sheep right there. And there is the dead sheep, but who's the one sitting right here? Who's that chair for? They call it the chair of St. Peter, and the whole thing is at the end of an upside-down cross. Ready? Isaiah 47. I will make bare thy locks. I will uncover thy locks, and thy nakedness shall be uncovered. So the entire Vatican is an upside-down cross. Right here is the seat of Elohim, right here. Right here at the tip of that upside down cross is the seat of Lucifer. Right at the tip of that upside down cross. Now, when you get converted, just turn that cross the opposite direction. Remember Peter said, Jesus told Peter, I'll give you the keys to the kingdom of heaven. So if you turn this cross this way right here and stood it straight up, that would represent that the door had been opened for you and you had been resurrected inside of you, you had, you had received the Holy Spirit, you went from a superhuman angel, demon, and inside of you, Christ stood up in the middle, middle of you, your eyes became single, and your whole body was full of light, instead of one light, one dark, where Lucifer sits in the middle to ambush you in silent as a judge, because see, he's got a, he's got a line going down to the pit to your own private locust, so that goes with you everywhere you go and keeps a record against you. So see, he's judging you everywhere you go, every step you take. There it is. And now it's proven. So see, Lucifer sits right here. There's where the chair is, the seat of Elohim, upside down cross. Now, here we go. Watch this. So if you'll pay attention to this part of the intro, it says good free right here. It's a right side up cross. See it? Okay, so... We have Lucifer sitting in the midst of us, and we have been inverted. And right here, this cross says evil slave. So, see, we have the upside-down cross. What's that upside-down cross turn into? It turns into a serpent. The mouth of the serpent is right where Lucifer is sitting right here. So, all we have to do is invert that cross the other way to unlock the key, to unlock the door. Watch. There you go. Let's do it one more time on the big screen. Here we go. There you go.
Now here's your condition, a superhuman angel, demon. So the angel essence goes up to heaven. That's one of your eyes inside of you. And then the other eye goes down to the pit, a demon that goes to your own locus. And then when you get rid of Lucifer in the middle of you and you accept Christ, he's, he resurrects inside of you. So now Christ in you, the standing up, anastasis. So now you're alive in Christ. It's perfect. Here we go. And here's what here's a representation of it. So the two get made into one. There you go. And you've been redoubled. So the Bible says the opening of dungeons, uh, the mission of Jesus would, would be to open the dungeons and the restoration of sight to the blind. Let me show you that real quick. It's the redoubling of your eyes. Watch. In Luke chapter 4, the Spirit of the Lord is upon me because he has anointed me to preach the gospel to the poor. He has sent me to heal the brokenhearted, to preach deliverance to the captives and the recovering of sight to the, to the blind. So I'm going to open that up. Restoration of sight. It says, anablepsis, to look up, to recover sight. Okay, and Jesus was quoting Isaiah 61, the Spirit of the Lord God is upon me. So this is what Jesus was quoting in Luke. The Spirit of the Lord God is upon me because the Lord has anointed me to preach good tidings to the meek. He has sent me to bind up the brokenhearted, to proclaim liberty to the captives, and the opening of prisons of them that are bound, and the opening of prisons right here, 6495. It says redoubled. Okay, redoubled. The opening of a dungeon. Okay, so let me go. Watch here. So you see right here, the angel has been redoubled. He's gone from angel demon, superhuman angel demon right here. So you had an angel demon, uh, and Christ fixes that your duality. So you had an attachment to the pit because Lucifer was sitting in the midst of you, but now Christ is in the midst of you. So he fixes that. Now you've been redoubled. Okay, now that's what it looks like. There's a physical example of it. So, and the opening of the prison to them that are bound. The prison is your body. And then let me show you to open, especially the eyes. So there it is. I just want to. I like that. Make sure it's all perfect for you. There we go. Okay. So to open the senses, especially the eyes, the redoubling of your eyes, redoubled, opening of a dungeon, salvation from sin. So now I'm showing you an exact representation because the Lord has given me the ability to understand it and break it down for you in some kind of a model so it's easy to understand so all glory to god he's the one that did it i didn't do this he did it through me so how cool is that so now when you watch this intro and you pay attention to it let's take a look at um who is a serpent so who is a serpent let's take a look at that so there's no denying that the vatican is a serpent there's from behind the building it's got a split tongue right there so for anyone that hasn't seen this, this is the Vatican from behind the crown. So that's a serpent wearing a crown. There's the split tongue that goes to halls of government. Because that's a government that Satan runs. Truth and lies. Split tongue. And see, here's the whole building up. Here's the whole Vatican ups, upside down cross right here from the other direction. And then the upside down cross. The tip of that upside down cross where Lucifer's seat is, is the seat, the seat of Elohim is the mouth of the serpent. Well, to really fully understand it and to see all this, you have, I don't know how anyone could have understood it except the Lord led you to it, which is what he did for me. He led me to understand it. it's female energy, twin female energy from the pit. That's why he made sure I was able to discern the Vatican as a snake wearing a crown and audience hall right here is a serpent as well. Now, let, let me let me play one of those super cool little GIF files for you because check this out. When you see a building transform into a snake right in front of your eyes, by the way, thank you so much to my subscriber that, that did this. Um, it makes it more real for your brain. You, you guys got to understand this. A serpent race is what's running the show here. You think 
<laughs> they're not running the governments. Okay, here we go. It's, and don't forget, it's this thing within the host body system. So now let me show you this. So here you go. So here's the Vatican. Just let it all happen. That's a serpent wearing a crown, you guys. So just think about how serious that really is. Uh, I mean, that that is just a serious problem. Uh, this is a phenomenal, phenomenal gift right here. Just look at the sheep right here. Keep your eye, your eye on the eye of the sheep. There's the eye of the sheep. There's the nostril of the sheep. And the whole thing turns to an angel that's kissing a woman. So you, I'm sure you guys can just see right now the whole sheep right here with this being the nostril right here and this being the eye. So just let this sink into you. Here's how the serpent kills angels. Well, what's killing him really? A female. You know, the Bible says, neither shall you touch it lest you die. The word touch means to lie with a woman. It's interesting the night I got saved, that as soon as I was saved, after the Holy Spirit came and just filled me up, and I was told after that to say Hail Mary, that way I'd know where death came from. Because as I said those words, I knew where death came from. There's no reason I would have known that something was wrong about that, because I was raised Catholic. But as soon as the Holy Spirit was inside of me after praying, Our Father, then the spirit inside of me discerned, you know, right from wrong. That's why I was like, well, why would I do that? So as I said, the words, I felt death. I felt life and light leaving my body because it was to the virgin. Get it? Female. Who's the enemy of the Lord God? What energy? Female energy. Uh-huh. The queen. Um, the time of the female rival. The time of her judgment has come. Hell hath enlarged herself beyond measure. You starting to get it? Why is, it, why is the Catholic Church called the Mother Church? There you go. Okay, now watch, watch the transformation of this uh, angel. Just watch. There you go, and that's what it is. So an angel kissing a woman equals a dead sheep again. So it's always dead sheep. So there it is. Phenomenal gift. I mean, phenomenal way to express it. The Bible says in Revelation 12, that old dragon was cast out, that old serpent called the devil and Satan. So I just got through showing you the serpent, right? It's a building called the Vatican. It turns into a serpent. But you want to see something really phenomenally interesting is that inside the Sistine Chapel, which is off to the side of the Vatican proper, is the Sistine Chapel, and this is a wall that Michelangelo painted, and the entire wall is the face of a dragon hidden in plain sight. So I want you to watch the gif, and I want you to let this sink into your mind. So the person speaking to you is showing you a dragon hidden in plain sight with not just any dragon, with a moat in one eye and a beam in the other. Just think about that. So the person that did that had to have biblical knowledge of the moat and the beam. Just stop and think about that. Because Michelangelo put one race dying in one eye of the dragon and the other race erecting the beam. So one race was withering in one eye. That's the dragon system. Kill the sheep. And then the other eye, they're putting up the beam on top of the head of the line of the tribe of Judah, which is just one consciousness. So that's a serpent consciousness taking over the sheep consciousness within the dragon's eye. So that, that's the dragon system. The dragon is female. Isn't that fascinating? It's female, but it's referred to as male. But when you understand the system, you'll understand the energy is female. And watch. You'll, you'll see that in just a minute. I want you to see this first. So watch. Here you go. So there's the face of the dragon in the Sistine Chapel. Now imagine that this is what it really turns into. I mean, do you know how crazy that is? So what a great representation. So here's the dragon, and it that's what the wall is, and that's what it really is. So it's hidden in plain sight once again. Sistine Chapel, the whole wall is a dragon. So now we have a building called the Vatican that's in the shape of a snake, no doubt about it. The building next to it, Audience Hall, is in the shape of a snake, no doubt about it. Parthenogenesis has been established now. Okay, to have put this together is not possible. The wall in the Vatican is a dragon. To have be able to see that and understand it is not possible. These are supernatural gifts. 
and the Lord's giving them to you. This is a gift from the Lord God to be able to see this. So here is another part of the Vatican that the same thing is audience hall is now a serpent as well. So you have the Vatican being a serpent, audience hall is a serpent. Then you have the Sistine Chapel is a dragon. The whole wall is a dragon. So the whole agenda for your destruction is right there inside the Catholic Church, inside the Vatican, the whole thing. The whole thing about the serpent. It's pretty important to understand the serpent because the serpent was the beginning of, uh, you know, the fall. I mean, that's where it all began. So understanding this is to understand the end of the Bible as well because at the end of the Bible... Satan, the accuser of the brethren, the king of the locusts from the pit. Because see, Satan's the king of the locusts. Satan is the king of the locusts from the pit. The ones that have tails like scorpions. And let me show you some images of that. Oh, so we're going to use their home base just to destroy the whole thing. Now Satan's kingdom is going to be utterly exposed. Okay, so now we're just, we're inside the Vatican. Hopefully you saw where we dropped in. Now we're going to turn back towards the altar and we're going to approach the altar. Now, this is so phenomenal to get to see and understand what you're about to see and understand. Right here is the face of the dragon. Now that I've drawn it in for you, you can probably see there's the eye, there's the eye, there's the nose, there's the open mouth right here, and there's the horns right here. And it's got a 2X right here and a 2X right here. There's the same dragon, but it's also the queen of heaven. It's also a locust. So just stop and think about this. Here is the dragon, the dragon. Okay, it's also a locust, a locust. Well, these are on all four corners of this thing on the outs, the corners. So there's two of these papal regalias on each corner post, okay? So on each one, you have a locust. So you have a locust coming out of the pit right there in front of you inside of a church. A locust coming out from the pit on on what's the, the, the base of the canopy. The canopy represents the flesh. So see, the flesh is just a hiding place for Lucifer in order to produce locusts by trapping angels within the host body. The host body is the biggest illusion there is. Isn't that crazy that that's one of the first things the Lord showed me to really crack this open was understanding that Genesis 1, let us create man in our image, was Elohim creating a vain show a representative figure, especially an idol, and creating an illusion. That's what Genesis 1 was. So look at, the, look at the illusion right here. Just look at what you're looking at. So here is a locust. Here is the queen of heaven. Here is a dragon. So all right here, and look. Here is, oh, sorry about that. I don't want to give everybody a Dramamine run. Okay, and then right here. So here is the canopy. Lucifer is referred to as the canopy. The anointed chair that cover it, and it says a canopy, the flesh. And here it is, and its DNA spirals going up, and it's got bees on it. And then it's got the queen right here, the dragon, and locusts. I mean, and it all sits on top of an eye of a serpent that goes underground. Just stop and think about it. Just stop and think about that. Okay, now let's just crack it open. Let's go to the imagery. Okay, so... Let me go right here. So let's take a look at the, okay, so look at the, look at the corner post and then do, just do this mental exercise. Ready? Let's see if I can move this up. There we go. Corner post in the Vatican, right there. Corner post in the Vatican, right there. Ready? Here's the corner post. There's the corner post. It's a locust. So we're going to just go back and forth. Corner post right there. Locust coming out of the pit. I mean, you cannot make this stuff up. So that corner post right there, every one of them is a locust coming out of the pit. Now you know why uh, there's a DeAntford video with has got the Lady Gaga impersonator birthing a locust. Here's the guy taking the locust out. It's right side up, upside down. What is she saying? Oh my God. She should have just said, Oh my Elohim is what she should have said. So here it is. Locust right side up, upside down. Now you know why they have this in a Lady Gaga impersonator, uh, D. Enford video. Now let's take a look at this. So here is right here. 
there is the dragon with its mouth open. Let me show you two views. If I show you the eye is right here and right here, eye here, there and there, eye there and there. This is the nose, this is the open mouth. If you can't see it, squint your eyes a little bit and you'll see it. There's the eye of the dragon, eye of the dragon. That's the horn of the dragon, horn of the, horn of the dragon, and it's 2X, female, 2X. So the keys, do you get it? The keys that the male is in the nose of the dragon. The male is in a slave collar in between 2X and 2X. That's why there's a beer campaign called The Most Interesting Man in the World. They're mocking male. They're mocking our father. They're mocking us. All of the angels are being mocked. So there's 2X right there. There's 2X right there. And right in the dead center right there is a guy in the slave collar. So now let me show you a really cool gift for that. Okay, so watch this from the intro. Here it is. The devil. So this is the dragon. And I'm going to pause it right here. Right here, you see that line? That's the slit in the eye of the dragon right there. There's the other slit. There it is. So, and there's your 2X, 2X holding the keys. And there's a human in the slave collar. That's us. That's us hidden right under your nose. That's the nose of the dragon. Now just watch. So there's what it is. There's audience hall. So look at what this building is turning into. I mean, just try and wrap your brain around what you're actually looking at. Right here, that's turning into a dragon. It's a locust. It's the queen of heaven. So when the Bible talks about in Daniel 12, the time of the female rival has come the great tribulation, that means the, ri the female energy rival of our father in heaven is going to take over the host body system. It's going to be a kill fest like no one's ever even imagined. That's why it's called the greatest horror the world's ever seen. And there's why. Because you see this locust right here? See the queen? See the dragon? Yeah. This system is taking over. Now, let me show you this. So let me remind you again, we have all these things I've shown you, like videos where you have like Lady Gaga birthing locusts. You have girls that have dresses with bugs on them. You have the Medici Castle, Michelangelo, where there's a worm inside a hollowed out body. And what's with all the insects? You have Prometheus, the movie Prometheus, the guy's got a worm in his eye. And it ends up taking over his whole body and transforming him into just a, um, a, a, a xenomorph of some kind. And the whole thing is, is overlaid with this insect theme. Over and over and over, it's insects. Even the 2020 dating commercial, it says, here's the girl, it says, you're a match. And look. You're a match, and it's it's an insect. That insect head right there, look at how it's the exact same shape as the Vatican. Look at the antennas where it goes up, turns, goes up, turns. Look, goes up, turns, goes up, turns. This insect is identical to this right here. You're a match, and so Satan goes to meet this girl right here. So what is, what when he says, I'm from hell, and she goes, yes, yeah, so am I. So see the big bug? I mean, this is an insect, but it's harvesting semen. This is the bug, and that's the that's the male genitalia right there. And when you turn that that whole thing over based on that circle right there, that's the female genitalia. So the female genitalia in the system is what's destroying God's angels. So, and there's no way around it, and let's just look at the constituent parts. So there is the chair of St. Peter. That is the tip of a penis, guys, no doubt about it. And there's the seed coming out that's crowning Satan's kingdom. This is the crowning of the kingdom, the commingling of the two. So there's the male, and when you turn the male upside down, you have the female, and so there's the female, and then when the two come together, X marks the spot, and the two together make an X. And so when you simply lay one on top of the other using the, the window as the center point, there it is. Male and female reproductive systems makes an X. Now I want to, I want to share something with you that is so mind-boggling. So 
Here is the, the opening of the female reproductive system. Here is the ovary, fallopian tube, ovary, fallopian tube, uterus, cervix, clitoris, opening to the vagina, and then you have the male right here. Now, you see the X marks a spot when you pivot it right on this point. You have male and female, right side up and upside down, and these two coming together makes an X. Now, listen to me. Okay, this time for a little bit of a grown-up talk. I went to see the movie... Uh, Oppenheimer. There's a scene where Oppenheimer is, he was a womanizer, it shows him with this girl, she's a communist party, he's laying down in his bed, she is on top of him and she gets off and she walks over to a, a bookshelf and she picks up a book and she says, you know how to read this? This is a very weird scene. They're in the middle of sex and she is on having sex. She is on top of him. She gets off and walks over and she picks up a book and she's like, they're discussing philosophies or something. And she goes, can you read this? It's Sanskrit. And he goes, well, you know, he's not trying to brag. He's like, uh, well, you know, I'm, I'm working on it. So she walks over and she holds up the Sanskrit to him while he's laying on his back, laying on his back. This is all, everything's biblically set up. She holds her finger up and she goes, can you read that? And then it literally shows her sit up and insert penis at the very moment he's reading the words. And for those of you that know what Oppenheimer said when the bomb went off, his first words were from the Bhagavad Gita, I have become death, the destroyer of worlds. And in the movie Oppenheimer, Literally, the moment that she inserts his penis in her, he quotes, I, have, I am death, the destroyer of worlds. Literally, a representation of exactly what I'm showing you right here. This X marks the spot. Later in the movie, for those of y'all that go see the movie, when they're doing the calculations on the blackboard, he makes an X, and then he draws a circle around it, and he takes his chalk, and he goes, it all happens right here. And he touches the center of the X. And he goes, this is the point to where it... And I've been trying to explain that for a long time to people going, there is a point that the whole thing began. And it's when the very first, the very first time that that intercourse thing happened. And that was the beginning of the end right then and there. And this represents it right here. This is the beginning of the end of a system. Yep, and there it is. And they worship that. And uh, imagine that you're looking at a church that actually has a giant bug. Well, again, who is Satan? He's the king of the insects. He's the king of the locusts from the pit. So isn't it perfect now that it is a big bug harvesting semen? What semen? Well, it's the it's the medium that carries the sperm, which is the light. So what the what the bug is harvesting is the light. What we're light beings, and the darkness consumes the light. This is just beyond my brain. This is way beyond my brain. <laughs> anyway, I'm just trying to make sure you guys. What the Lord's given me is so profound. It's so beyond the human brain. I want you guys to have as well, when I say as much as I have, probably not. You probably don't want as much as what the Lord's given me. It's overwhelming. But I want you to at least have the understanding of what I just told you. Do you understand that we are here as because we're being punished? The Bible says, who gave Jacob to the plunderers and Israel to the robbers? Was it not the Lord against whom we have sinned? See, the sin was doing what we're doing in our taking our host body and, and everything we've done it. Why do you think he came into the system and died in the likeness of sinful flesh to save you from your sins that you committed in the flesh? Because the flesh is the medium through which the angels are getting destroyed. So he had to come into that same medium and purchase you back on a cross. And everything is just absolutely perfect. I mean, by virtue of the fact that Peter was crucified upside down, if you've ever read the Acts of Peter, that dot, that one point I'm talking about is actually in the Acts of Peter, where the two meet, the, where the crossbar is held to the upright and the nail that, that holds the crossbar to the upright is the repentance of man. 
when you understand that, you've gone beyond. It's absolutely mind-boggling. So anyway, back to this. It's an insect. So we have an insect race. Well, Satan is the king of the insect race. So it makes total sense that the Vatican would have a guy in a slave collar, and then the collar makes a beast under it. That's us. Of course it would make sense. There's a twin system. Twin, twin. They're mocking the crap out of us. And the slave collar is the beast system. And the woman that rides the beast, the woman that rides the beast is the twin female energy from the pit. And she rides it everywhere it goes. Because she's, she's in the midst of it. How is she in the midst of it? Well, who's a, who sits in the seat of Elohim? Shows you right who sits in the seat of Elohim. Right here. Lucifer. In the midst of the population, he sits in the seat of Elohim. So see, this is absolutely solved. You all understand. I don't want to keep driving home. Now, I've got some scripture, guys, that I want to deliver to you guys. I want to give you the folder. Y'all should go look at this. It is just totally destruction to Satan's kingdom. If you go down and you look past these images right here, it says Anastasis, the standing up again. And then you go from here to the end right here, which is what I'm going to do. You know what? Maybe I'll do it in this video. I'm actually kind of concerned. I'm having some some problems uh, with the equipment when I started this video. It didn't it didn't do the timeline correctly. As a matter of fact, you couldn't see any of the volume. You couldn't hear really any of the volume. So right now I'm just, I'm hoping and praying it's working right now. I'll tell you what. Let me play two different intros for you. I want you just to think about them now that I've shown you this stuff. And everything in the Bible, everything in all these scriptures supports every single thing I've shown you. All of it. All of it. Here we go. Let's do this intro. Let's do this intro first. Okay, so this is from... You are exiles. We are the exiles. We are the fallen. You made the decision to go after strange flesh. This is about one thing. This is about us being consumed by another race. Let's get them in a host body system so we can destroy them. You're a kingdom divided. You're good and evil. You are the tree of the knowledge of good and evil. To rectify that situation, you got to be turned up. That's how you know that you know Jesus. And if it does add up to the scriptures, and it's not true. Okay, now let me let me just tell you what we did. I thought, you know what, the the guy that made these super awesome gifts. I thought, you know what, let's take that same intro. And let's put some of these gifts in it so it makes it come alive for you guys. The Vatican is a snake. <laughs> the mouth of the snake is a vagina. That's a problem. So what's killing God's angels? Well, now, see, you got to get past. It's not if you're a girl and I'm a guy, it doesn't. That's not what matters. It's what the twin female energy started was the host body system. So that is attached to the pit, you understand? But the one that sits in the seat of it is Lucifer. So when you turn back to God, then Christ stands up in you and takes over the midst of you. Do you understand? Then your eyes become single and your whole body is full of light. This is perfection in understanding the scriptures. I didn't do it, the Lord. The Bible says, for the Spirit himself will teach you all things. His teaching is true and contains no lie, 100% no lying. And so the Lord taught me all this since the night I got saved. So again, I want to point out that if, if you pay attention to the intros, because we're going to be doing more of these using the exact same format, the intros are going to change with the videos. Not every video, but you'll be seeing different intros, the same format, but different questions and different answers in a very short space. That way you could just take that little clip and send it to somebody and send them a two minute intro where they're like going, what in the world? Where they would want to know the truth, where they're like, I got to know. 
Okay, so here is the older one where if you just keep in your mind, what is strange flesh? Well, can you imagine how strange flesh is when you think that it's attached to a locust in the pit? That is some strange flesh, isn't it? And angels that left their first abode and went after strange flesh, I mean, left their own habitation and went after strange flesh. So we left our commencement in heaven and we went after strange flesh. The reason it's strange flesh is it's connected to a locust in the pit. And so, yeah, and so now everyone's in deep trouble. Now watch this. You are exiles. We are the exiles. We are the fallen. You made the decision to go after strange flesh. This is about one thing. This is about us being consumed by another race. Let's get them in a host body system so we can destroy them. You're a kingdom divided. You're good and evil. You are the tree of the knowledge of good and evil. To rectify that situation, you got to be turned up. That's how you know that you know Jesus. And if it doesn't add up to the scriptures, then it's not true. Okay, so again, and so... The goal is to give you these short little um, intros before the videos and also they're all going to stand alone. So you're going to see just a, a whole group of intros that as we do a new one, it'll have different questions and, you know, obviously it'll have the answers to those questions. And that way you can send a two minute video. And I, I just want to encourage you to send these little shorties out to people trying to guys. You understand people are about to see the end of the world here and if they don't know the truth and you had the opportunity just to try and shake the tree a little bit and see if any fruit will fall you know that's what we're here for we're here to try and get people in we're trying to get people in that's the goal we're trying to get them awake and arise O oh sleeper wake up from the dead we have all the scriptures in these folders there's no arguing with what's here the scriptures are perfect absolute perfection kata crino and ana crino once you understand that and you understand that whoever's not with me is against me that's what jesus said the word against is kata down whoever's not with me is down that's what jesus said kata the word against is down and that's in that sentence whoever's not with me is down which is exactly right. So to understand the up-down paradigm, the right-side-up, upside-down paradigm, understand that Lu Lucifer sits in the midst of Elohim. All these concepts, the Lord has hand-delivered to the person speaking to. And I just would, I'm, I'll do whatever I have to do to try and get this to you guys in whatever other format I ha I can. I just want you to have it for other people, though, and you guys will have to send it out. Now watch this one. Now you know what you know. Just watch. Who is the serpent? The serpent is the dragon. The dragon is Satan, a.k.a. the devil. It's a race of beings inside of us. So if you worship the prince of darkness, how perfect to do it right in front of everybody, right under their nose. I mean, can you imagine what your, I, I don't know if your, your brains actually make the full connection. That is right there what I'm showing you. That is you. That's you in the slave collar. And that's the beast system that's got you. And then when you invert it, it becomes a locust from the pit. Do you understand how serious this is to try and help others get out of this trap? So this is what, you know, it's, I just don't know how to express this. If there's any way you, you know how to just copy paste these short little videos and just go put them anywhere you can to maybe wake people up. Guys, the end of the world's about to be here. And I don't want anyone to see what's coming. I don't want anyone to be here. My goal. 
<laughs> my goal is that there's nobody here, but that's not reality. So the best way is to encourage you all to try and go shake the trees as well. So here you go. That's that's everyone's condition right there. Unbelievable. Unbelievable. To destroy all of God's angels, I will rise above the stars of hell. That's the plan. Destroy God's angels. So I love that I love this particular gift right here. Destroy God's angels. And it starts with the face of a sheep. Now, I mean, just think about this. I've had, I'm holding right here, two different times people have said, Hey, Johnny, I drew a picture of you. And they put a dead sheep. Look, there's a dead sheep right behind my ear. That was done by Alex at Starbucks. This was done by Marcel at a place I had one of my sunglass locations uh, warehouse. So Marcel did this one. There's a dead sheep on my, top of my head. And a goat on the back of my head. I mean, just look at what you're looking at. So, for me to be able to show you, like, literally, like, these are hard copy images of what people drew. So, that's a serpent race hunting me, proven with the Word of God, with the Vatican, with everything else I'm showing you. I don't know if you, people really understand, this is probably the most serious thing in the world. It's the greatest weapon in the world as well. The Lord's given me the most powerful weapon in the world, which is the truth. The truth. And it's proven so... I don't, do y'all do understand that? Do y'all understand that what you're looking at is the most powerful force and weapon there is, is the truth. Nothing can stand against the truth. Now look at this sheep. That's the head of a sheep. Look how it turns into the Tattoo of Eros and Psyche, an angel kissing a woman. Neither shall you touch it lest you die. Lie with the woman. So here's an angel kissing a woman and it turns to a dead sheep. What is the largest altar in the world? It's a dead sheep. Huh. What's, what's it turn into? Male and female reproductive systems. X marks the spot. The most destructive thing there is. Yeah. Where the two come together. There it is. See? Do you know how profound that is? Now you know, I mean, seriously, now you know why Miley Cyrus has teeth on her crotch. I mean, I have a bag from Zoomy Skate Shop in here that's got the same thing on a bag from the mall where you buy skateboarding stuff as Miley Cyrus's neoprene suit. That's beyond the human brain, guys. Now you know why she's got this. It's all about destroying God's angels. And that's how. There it is. Destroy God's angels. Virgin, turn it upside down. Dead sheep. host-body system, and that host-body system is attached to the pit through a demon. So as soon as the angel comes into the host body, he's got a body, but he's attached to the pit through a demon. Through one of your eyes. That's called the all seen eye. There it is. There it is. Dos Equis beer. And that attachment to the pit is what keeps the record against you. And that record is used to destroy you. The fix is to turn back to Christ and get inverted. The word converted means turn quite around. You turn back to Christ. You turn away from your flesh. doubled so even the so see i gave you an image the bible said jesus has come to open the dungeons to redouble so he redoubles the angel because when the angel turns back to him he gets redoubled instead of one eye down one eye up both eyes up he gets redoubled you understand okay i'm gonna let this fly hopefully there's uh hope i just am trying to give you guys a greater understanding of how simple it really is 
and how profound it is. And now I'm going to do scriptures on this next video. If this thing is working correctly, I'm going to do the scriptures that are the most obvious thing in the world now. It's all about up and down. It's all about the spirit of God from above and the enemy from below and coming on together on a battlefield that's called the host body, the flesh. That's where the battle takes place. Okay, so let's see how this works. Hopefully uh, this all works well. Uh, quick hug to everybody. Sorry, guys. I got a lot on my plate mentally. There's a lot I, I'm dealing. I'm I'm dealing with such overload supernatural information, and it's beyond the human brain. And then knowing, just imagine you were like Noah. Imagine you knew you were like Noah. Well, when the Lord took me to watch Oppenheimer the other day, I knew there was zero doubt. I mean, when He showed me the scene of the girl having sex with Oppenheimer. While he's reading the Bhagavad Gita, I have become death, the destroyer of worlds, while she's inserting his penis into her. I mean, really? That's just, no. And then the end of the movie, I'm not going to tell you how it ends, but you should go watch it. It's an incredible movie. It's a long movie, but the very end of the movie, you'll know. You'll know that we're there. You'll just, If you go watch Oppenheimer and you pay attention and remember what I what this is all about, and you make sure you watch the very end of the movie, you'll know that the end is here. You'll know it. Anyway, okay, this is you. This is Johnny. I love you in Christ, guys. Huh? Okay, I'm going to be here for you guys. This is my job. This is what the Lord assigned me, and I'll do, I'm trying to do the best I can, honestly, and it's tremendously mentally overloading me, knowing that the whole world is about to die. I don't know what to do with that sometimes. I just, I don't know what to do with it. Okay. I love you guys in Christ. Peace and grace.